morning, it's Monday, and we are currently just having an at-home day. <laughs> Did you just put a hat on just when we yeah, vlogging? Yeah, I'm getting the state of my hair. <laughs> so we're actually just having a little worky day at home, and I am just sat in the corner editing and doing stuff. Sam's on the sofa doing his work bits, and we're actually waiting for a really exciting delivery. So we have ordered a, a we have ordered a new sofa from M&S, and it's arriving today. We only ordered it yesterday, and it came with the option next day delivery, which for a sofa is pretty good going because the other one that we looked at we'd have to have waited a month for so we kind of just decided to find the most similar thing that we could and get it quicker but yeah that should be coming within the next hour so very exciting it means our living room is going to look a lot more full um we also need to get like a few other little bits and pieces because obviously with any move it looks done but it's not to us like to us there's still bits that need to be added and moved and changed and whatever and then this afternoon we are going to be at one which is a bar chain in london and is it around the, what, england as well yeah they've got Brighton and some other places okay they've got like other places in england too but we're going because sam's doing some paid stuff for them and we're going to have a few cocktails and i think sam's sister laura is going to come and then yeah it's going to be a good day and there's lots happening this week so very exciting for the vlog and i'm also not wearing makeup for today because i want to keep my skin free so i'm going to put it on tonight to go to the beer one thing but i'm not going to wear it like during the day because i just want to keep my skin fresh and makeup free <laughs> It's been a couple of hours since I last vlogged. I think the last clip I did was us putting the sofa in. Since then, I have done my makeup. <laughs> we have got changed and we're about to go to be at one, like I said, because Sam's got a couple of bits to do with them. So we're gonna go have a few cocktails and probably grab like some nibbles or something while we're there because we haven't had dinner yet. Um, but I thought I'd show you the sofa quickly, which Sam has just done in his vlog, because by the way, Sam is starting YouTube again. Don't know when the video is gonna be up. I'll find out from him, but I will leave a link to his channel down below because he is vlogging as well. And his videos are obviously like, different to mine but the same so like even though we do the same stuff every day most days it's going to be a different vlog because obviously it's sam's perspective and he picks up the camera at different times and whatever so anyway quickly talk you through my outfit before i show you the sofa so i'm wearing my and other stories camel coat with this bodysuit which is from um pretty little thing it's just a long sleeved black square neck i'm a bit worried it's see-through probably is but I'm going to be in a dark bar, so it's fine. I've got my button front um, skinny jeans from Topshop, which are amazing. I actually want these in the white and the blue as well. But I'm going to get the straight leg and not the skinny. And then I've got my Adidas Falcons on. And my Pauline bag, which is Bay. And this lipstick is the one that I always wear. It is the Stunner Lip Paint from Fenty, and it is in the shade Unbutton. I am obsessed. Like, I genuinely want them to make more colours. I think there's only five at the moment in the range, and they are just gorgeous. Like, I really, really want more nudie ones, because a lot of them are quite dark, because it's basically nudes for every skin tone, and then, like, a couple of other shades. So, some of them are really too dark for me, because I can't wear a dark lip. It just doesn't suit me, but I want some more of them. Anyway, this is the sofa. We've got to go. <laughs> it's only a diddy little one, but it matches quite nicely with this one. It's basically just an extra for when people come over. It looks really small on my vlog. I promise it's actually not that bad. Like, there we go. It did look tight. That kind of looks... Yeah, it does look really small, but it's not that bad. It was £300 from M&S. Next day delivery, perfect. And then Sam basically had a reshuffle, so he's put all the cushions and stuff in different places, and we've kind of decided different bits that we need to, like, add and move. And then, yeah, we've decided that's going to go there, and then we're going to get a selection of pictures for there. The footstool's moved to here. Yeah, Sam's giving me a look, so I feel like we need to go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then, check in. Let go get cocktail. Oh, I'd help if I had my belly. Well, yeah, that would help considering you're doing stories. Good afternoon, guys. It is actually Tuesday and I haven't vlogged anything yet because, to be honest, I've been having a bit of a kind of creative motivational slump. And I think it's kind of since we moved into the house, I've just been really kind of unmotivated. I think I just did way too much and now I'm crashing and burning and I probably shouldn't have done so much. So I've had a day of just doing emails and like Instagram admin, so like commenting on like people's pictures and making sure my stories are all right and all that kind of thing. Like behind the scenesy kind of little bits. But Sam and I are about to head out to Nando's because we are really hungry. Both of us have only had a little bit of food today because the maintenance man has been here and he's kind of taken over the living room and the kitchen to change all our light bulbs because we had a bit of a situ with the lights. So um, we have LED lights all across the ceiling. There's 12 
in the no there's 16 bulbs in the living room and then there's like i think it's 25 in total and one line of them had gone and he's had to basically drill into the ceiling and all sorts to get them fixed so the living room looks a bit of a situation right now but that's kind of meant that we couldn't really get into the kitchen so i am absolutely starving it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and i need me some food but the maintenance man this morning as well it was really really kind of weird but I opened the door this morning and I had like no makeup on, my hair was on top of my head, I looked a bit of a mess and I was wearing my pyjamas, let him in, did a bit of work and then he had to go and pick up some more supplies and more light bulbs and stuff. So he left the house again, came back about two hours later and my hair and makeup was done so I looked like I look now and he thought I was a different person. Like he genuinely was like, oh was it you that I spoke to this morning and I was like, okay I don't look that different but thank you for that. So that was quite the experience but yeah, I'm heading out now, I need to stop waffling but bring you with me for dinner. I am so excited about this. Sam went for the butterfly chicken burger. We both went for coleslaw and um, chips, but how yummy does this look? Yum. And we have ended up in H&M home because that's what we and Sam do. So Sam had a bit of a meltdown while we were doing the house yesterday and decided that we need loads more cushions. So we've come in and we've had a little browse for cushions and stuff and we've got this new little lantern as well. I'm gonna give you a little look around actually because there's loads of really nice stuff at the moment. So I'll show you what's here. Perfect and so far. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a massive Let's fan. Look how many you've got, Samuel. We oh, can't buy three. all of that's these. Three. Four, five. The fussiest person you'll ever go. meet in your life. And we're also going to try this one. Put the cranes on. No. Do you not like that one? I don't like the colour. Not for our sofa. Basically, mm. it's a bit of a ordered loads of like beige cushions we put them on the sofa i think we've got correction eight. you had a meltdown and ordered yeah. loads of beige cushions i, I was no part of this neutral cushions and nothing else like there's one green and a gray and we're like oh actually this one might be quite cool i mean you've just kind of been running around and i've just been going yep yep <laughs> So we just got back from the event and from H&M and I actually ended up getting a couple of bits of clothing as well just because, you know, why not? I was in there already and there were some really gorgeous pieces. So just waiting for Sam and then we're going to give you a little haul video showing you everything that we picked up because we got some really, really great pieces and Sam, as you saw, went absolutely overboard on the cushions. <laughs> But in his argument, he said, we're just going to bring them all home, see what looks like the best. And then we don't have to keep going out and being like, oh, maybe it needs to be more green or maybe we need one like this or whatever. So we're just going to, bleh, just going to basically have a play and see what we like best. You look comfy. Okay. So this is our giant bag of stuff with our stupidly long receipt of just cushions. Yeah. We spent like £152 and got, I think, 15, 15 cushions. One light holder, which must be the lantern. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and show you what's in here. I'll leave everything linked down below. And if you're watching on Sam's, I'm sure he'll do the same. I'll do, yeah, I'll do exactly the same. The okay. first thing is this little lantern. We've got like a little lantern bit in the corner, which we're looking for a second one. The first one we've got is like woven ratta. Is it rattan? How do you describe raffia? it? Raffia. Like raffia no. slash like, it's almost like it's reeds. Like, yeah, it's um, like reeds. Yeah. Natural. So this one is like more of like a little rope texture. We're going to take the glass out because it's quite heavy. Um, and we, and we might use it. it. Yeah, and we might use it for something else. Um, and then just hang this from the ceiling instead. And then we have a little candle, which I actually love. I picked this up because it matches our little pot. So it's we picked this up a few weeks ago and it's just like a little pot with cities on it, a little black lid. That was 12 99 I'll link that as well, just in case you're wondering. Um, so we picked up this candle, which is just like a really similar style with the gold and the black, but it's like a little leopard design. Illustrative scenic design. And then <laughs> tea towels because we're, I don't know where ours disappeared to, we have two uh, Halloween ones. Yeah, and we're now cool. currently running on pumpkin tea towels. <laughs> so we've just gone for like black and white 
little texture. Do you get two in a pack for six ninety nine, or is that three ninety nine each? So makes sense to get the double pack. That was a really great explanation of tea towels. I'd have just been like tea towels. And then first things first, cushion number uno. Basically, this was. $12.99. It's like a charcoal navy background, which will match our back wall up here. And it's got the green. And we were like, we need something a bit of print because everything we've got is kind of really flat and neutral. Next anyway, one. next one, we have this one, which we actually bought a cushion for as well. This is potentially going in my room, potentially going on the sofa. So it's $12.99. And it's this long one, which is just like a kind of chevron-y print with just the little tassels. Really cute, but I thought maybe on my bed, maybe on the um, living room sofas, we'll see where it looks best. I'm gonna try it in my bedroom first though. And then next is a colour which we were like, okay, let's try it. I think another purple colour. It's like little tan slash like Moroccan it's like a rust. terracotta colour. Yeah, like a rust. And it's got this nice little like almost like Indian, not Indian as in like in Native like American type. It's like a native type, like, print, like an Aztec, -y Aztec -y, kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, and we also got the green version of it as well. And these were 9 99 each, which is. Kind of, I think all of H and M pillows are between like nine ninety nine and twenty, depending on like. But what there's you some get. bargains like this one. Like this one's only three ninety nine, and I think it's because these That's are a lot softer. Classic. I was gonna say like That's these like are a basic, isn't it? Yeah, like these are a lot softer. I think they made a cotton, whereas this you can tell is like. No, it's organic cotton. Is this a cotton? Yeah, look. Well, that's really good then for three ninety nine. And also look at the tassel like, on Yeah. It's more like a canvas one, so it's got that like almost like canvasy texture to it. But for three ninety nine, we thought a nice little charcoal and um, like off white stripe, which would look nice with everything. Um, then we got two fairly similar because we didn't know which colour we'd like the most of these little velvet cushions. One was called Copper Online, which doesn't really look very copper in person. One like goldy or Yeah, they're like this. So this is the first one, which is a little bit smaller, and then this is the second one. So one's a little bit more orange, one's a bit more neutral. The bigger one was six ninety nine. Actually, that's really cheap. Yeah, that's right. And then the smaller one is six ninety nine as well. But yeah, really affordable for velvet cushions. And they do loads of different colours in those as well, like all yeah, your basic they do. ones. There's like navy and like charcoal. They do white, charcoal, navy. There's like a green. There's basically every colour you can need. And then again with the black and white pattern, just to break up the neutrals. I didn't see nice, get this like, one. This, you know, because that's the one on the shelf. This one you ran around and kept on grabbing yeah. stuff. We basically picked this one out because we were like, why not? Well, I picked it out. But another little black and white number um, to add a bit of pattern amongst everything. Then we got this one, which I actually saw and liked, but I didn't think Sam would like, so I didn't pick it up. But it's just a really cute little like scenic print. So it looks really like sketched, sorry. The... It looks really sketched, matches the decor that I just showed you, and we thought it was really cute. That one was $8.99. They've got a variety of prices here. That's what I, I just find, they're always like between this and that. And then they have a few more which are like embellished and got like tassels and fringing on, which like go up a bit more. Um, There's like sequin ones and everything. Isn't you're like looking, yeah. And most things are probably like between ones. like eight and twelve pounds. Yeah. And there's like a few which are like fifteen, pushing to twenty. But um, yeah. Yeah. Then we've got this one again, six ninety nine. This is a cotton one again, keeping in with the theme of like the little buildings. This actually matches perfectly to the um, little pot. But we thought that was quite a cute design. It's nice and like it's a neutral without being like a pattern as such because I think we've got a lot of pattern. Yeah. But it's nice to have like a design mm -hmm. and then um, another floral so kind of this one is like the cotton texture again but organic cotton so it's not um the same as like the velvet one we picked up but this is on like a white background um just in case you want to add a bit more lighter but i think like this layered up with something in front it's a bit garish but if you put one of the plainer ones in front like one of the coppery tads it might yeah, be quite nice on the sure sofa yeah we just need to make sure it matches the sofa color which we haven't looked at yet um then we've got two final ones so there's another black and white printed one which is Three ninety nine again. I think the three ninety nine ones are the ones that are more like simple, where it's just like printed, and printed on, and it's on, not. Yeah, it's not any like faff. There's no hard labour having to go into it, kind of thing. Not, but yeah. um, and then this is like a really nice linen one, which actually matches my linen trousers. Mm -hmm. um, this was eight ninety nine, so just another like rusty coloured linen. So lots of the same kind of tones, but we're going to just literally pick them all up and play and see play what looks best on the sofa. We'll give you a time lapse and we'll show you what it looks like. I just don't know how it slips out There must be 
Okay, slight change of scenery. Sam's just doing some bits with the hangy bits up there. Thought I would show you some bits that I picked up shop-wise for myself because obviously we picked up all the H&M home stuff and then I picked up some other bits. So I'm gonna show you this and then I'll show you the progress of the sofa and what we finally went with. And I'll leave everything down below because I can. Um, and also, this ties in with all this stuff. So if you didn't know, it's really easy to shop like my homeware, my beauty and my fashion on Like To Know It. I basically, every time I take pictures, I put them on there, whether it's my house, my beauty stash, whatever it might be, I put it on Like To Know It. So I'll leave a link to my profile down below and then you know that you can always pick up anything I talk about there because I always link absolutely everything. But anyway, so the first thing I picked up was this linen blend blazer from Zara, just a really basic black blazer with the one single button at the front and this was 69.99 but i really like it i did actually intend to get a just plain like normal fabric i don't even know what normal fabric would be but just like a normal blazer but i actually kind of like the linen one now i've got it home so i think i might be keeping that but i'm gonna see if i can style it up and i actually picked it up in a size too big just so that i can wear it a bit more oversized and a bit more like slouchy so that was the only thing from zara and then from h&m I picked up a couple of bits, so I'll just get these out and show you. I mean, the most boring one is probably the socks, so we're not even going to talk about those. But my socks seem to keep disappearing into outer space, so I picked up a few more. Then, yeah, H&M, I picked up four different bits. The first thing I got was this, which we saw when we first got into the shop, and it's just this really cute little brodery skirt. White brodery seems to be my thing at the moment. I have so much of it, and I love it. I've got, like, my ASOS jacket, I've got my Zara dress. Now I've got a H&M skirt. Um, this one was $24.99 and I sized up just because it looks really tight and I thought I don't want it to be too tight. I'd rather it be a little bit loose and then if I eat it too much on holiday or whatever then I can just hide my sins. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. And then the matching top for that, they didn't have any in my size. They only had like 14 and 16 available. So I picked up a similar top, which I really like, which is this one. This was $24.99 again. And this is just like a really nice kind of not really off the shoulder but kind of off the shoulder with the little sleeves and stuff little broidery top then i picked up a little vest kind of vibe um this is from the conscious range which i love this is 8.99 and it's just a cute little t-shirt with some buttons down the front really easy to throw on great for putting with like jeans and stuff in the summer i love kind of little t-shirts and stuff like that because they're easy to just layer and style however and then the final thing i picked up was another blazer which was 24.99 again sized up and it's really nice it's just like this stony color really super soft and yeah, really liked it. Love the double breast as well. This is probably going to get worn a lot, actually. I really, really like this one. But that's everything I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the living room. Hang on. Oh my God, it looks so nice and full in here now. I love it. So this is what Sam's just put up. So these are our little lanterns. This one is the H&M one that we just bought. And this one is from ASOS. I'll link both of those. Um, we're going to put the print on the wall there. And then we've just got our little basket down here with a couple more pillows and a little pot plant and everything. Um, then this is kind of the vibe we went for with the sofas. So this sofa, we both fell in love with this cushion and couldn't put it down. Like we literally had to incorporate this somehow into the system. So that went there and then we've tied it in nicely with this charcoal throw here. We've got our shaggy throw cushion, sorry. So this is from River Island Home. This one is next and that one is H&M. It's the one we just showed you. Then we've got H&M, Ikea and H&M on those. And then the sofa is actually Urban Outfitters, but I'll link similar because I know there's a lot of similar ones around. And then this is our little MS sofa that I showed you yesterday that we just got. And then we've put a Next and a Primark, funnily enough, perfectly matches the sofa and a H&M home cushion on there. Very cute. Messy kitchen, ignore. But that's our vibe. Are you happy? Yeah. It actually doesn't look as good on camera as it does off. Like the sofa looks really like... I don't know, I really like it. Our living room is very difficult to show on camera because for some reason when you're in the room, the kitchen doesn't seem as there. It's but when you're the in the room, lights. you're like, Mrr. I think it's the dark, like the lights are really I'm gonna light. try, yeah, I'll try and show you another time. In daylight, but you'll get a nice look. I, there. yeah, I think our house looks a lot better off a camera, which we even said when we looked around yeah. and we saw the like property pictures on the website. It's a lot bigger off camera. Like this room is absolutely huge and you can't really tell it from a camera, but yeah. Lots I'm happy for now. Now I just want to open a glass of wine, a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. Open a bottle. Have a bottle of wine, have some snacks. You've got a whole bread and butter pudding. I've got an apple crumble. Cozy vibes. Flipping it. Haven't vlogged yet today, but look how much stuff just turned up. I've just been running back up and down two flights of stairs and I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to give a... Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a big unboxing of all of that in a minute. That's going to be up on a separate video because there's a lot of stuff there. So I figured that will... Oh my God. But I thought I'd give you a quick chat about Oddbox, which is this gigantic box here, 
I'm gonna find out all the information and put it in the description box because I'm not sure if it's London only, but, but it's basically a whole big box of wonky fruit and veg. So they fill it to the brim with all different kinds of like fruit and veg and stuff. You don't really know what you're gonna get and it's basically just wonky produce, which I'm all about. I don't feel like I would pay, like, I don't feel like I go into a supermarket and I'd be like, that carrot looks a bit dodgy, I'm not picking that up. I am all for just grabbing whatever I see and buying it. So um, yeah, I'll leave all the information to it down below. But basically, they have sent us a gigantic box. I'm gonna kind of open it. Filled with odd fruit and veg. Let me take that out and show you. So there's some little lettuces here. We've got some peppers. We've got some red, is this red cabbage kale? I'm not sure. We've got some sticks of rhubarb, which I think Sam's gonna be really chuffed about because we can make an apple crumble. There's some bits wrapped up, which I think might be like mushrooms and stuff. Is that radishes? Yeah. Oh my God, this is so good. There's so much in here. <gasps> There's some sprouts. Sprouts are my life, I love them. Then we've got some like little potatoes and mini baby onions. Oh my God, there's so much in here. And there's even a pineapple, yes. Love this. Okay, we have so much in here. There's like carrots, there's pears, all sorts. And our fridge is currently empty, so that is a very well-deserved box. A very well-deserved, well-needed box that I'm very excited to... Why is the lighting so weird? But thank you very much to Oddbox for that, because that is a really great box of goodies. And I definitely think, having seen what's inside, I'm probably going to order a couple more, like, weekly or fortnightly or whatever, so that me and Sam have always got some fresh produce in the house, because there's nothing better than having fresh fruit and veg. And I am currently on a bit of a health hype, and I am wanting all the goodness in my life, so definitely loving that one. Um, I'm still out of breath. I think talking isn't really helping, but I'm going to sit down on the sofa and film a kind of... What's the word? I don't know. I, I kind of want to film this next like unboxing because I'm literally just going to get all of the products out of the packaging and show you what's there. And I kind of want to film it just in my gym kit, like a vlog style, but I don't know if that's going to go down very well because I feel like people don't really do that and I feel like it's not a normal thing to do, but I'm going to break the norm. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to sit on my sofa and I'm going to set up the camera and I'm just going to do it. Oh, still a vista. Let's go through the crazy piles of stuff. I also did just order a prep for lunch, so might have that first and go sit back down at my little working desk. It's a bit later in the day now and we are about to head out to a couple of press events and then we are going for dinner at Enamo, which is a really cool little sushi place in quite a few areas of London. But it's basically like a sushi restaurant where you have an interactive table so you can like write and draw on the table, order through the table, like all that kind of thing. Really, really cool. So might take you along a little bit, but this is my outfit for the day. I have a little cameo under here from And Other Stories. This jumper is from Amazon Find. I've got my Gucci belt. These jeans are my Topshop ones, which I wear all the time. And then these boots are from Topshop. Oh no, sorry, Jack Wills. These are Jack Wills. And then the boots are Topshop. But yeah, it's my outfit for the day. Hope you like. It still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. Okay, we're having an iPhone vlog because Sam's being mean and won't let me use, G oh, use his G7X. She's lying, she's kind of a victim. <laughs> Look at the no, um, everyone. She wants the attention. We are actually on a little like house update day. So we are currently in b and I've just realised we're still looking at plants. We don't need any yeah, we more do, of we these. We've already agreed. We need but one. We're one getting some plants. We do. I mean, one on the sofa. Exactly. It's on my list. Okay, so the list does not lie. But you the do. The list does not lie. Yeah, we're looking for some little upgrades for the house. So we've got to get things like super glue and paint and like random little things. And then we're going to head into IKEA and look at some more storagey options because I need to sort out my upstairs in my room, which is going to be a whole separate video. I'm going to do a whole video on like sorting out my clothes and like wardrobe situ. and we've just got some meatballs of course I got a quick coffee because coffee is literally life and Sam got this 
little apple apple pie, apple cake. I don't really know what it is. And a lingonberry. Your meh. Um, and then we're gonna quickly eat this and then we're gonna go shop because we want to shop on full bellies because otherwise you're gonna race them around. So that's the plan. Also, serious kudos to IKEA for having little soy sachets. Love this. <laughs> The IKEA trip is going well. Definitely got more than we came in here for, but that's what IKEA trips are always like. My bedroom has basically had an entire redo. I've basically bought everything bar a new bed, which is great. Um, <laughs> Cute. I just think it's the kill everything. Also, I think they're really hard, like, if anyone's got one of these, these are really hard to keep, like, up. They always just, like, drop to the side, and we wanted one that just stays up. We are now back from Ikea, the hair is on top of head and we are starting to kind of pull everything apart, unbox, etc. because we have a lot to do. The boys are coming over in about two hours-ish, so Sam and I are gonna try and get everything like as done as we possibly can before they get here. So I'm about to run back downstairs. We've literally brought like the rug and stuff up so that it's just waiting, but we've set up time lapses so you can see kind of how we pull everything apart. But we did spend quite a bit of money, I'm not gonna lie. Went in for like a few finishing touches and ended up coming out basically a whole new house. So this is all like kitchen stuff here. We've got like random bits <laughs> piled up everywhere. We've got the contact paper and stuff for the kitchen tiles, which we're gonna try and get done before they get here. Sam's just doing some picture frames. And I'm about to sit and build the shelving unit that's going in the kitchen for like um, jars and like fancy bits. So yeah, we're gonna get that done now. This is the new little thing that we're standing in the kitchen. That door actually opens out to the hallway, but we never use it, we never have done, um, and we never plan to, so we thought it was just like a space to block off. Unfortunately, it doesn't lock though, so if anyone ever tries to come in, then we're a bit stuck. But this is the kind of finished unit, so what we're gonna do is put like little jars and stuff on here, we've got little baskets and things, so this can be like our display thing. Pardon? Yeah, so like the coffee machine's gonna live on here, um, all that kind of thing, probably a fruit bowl of some sort as well. And it came with these really handy little hooks, there was actually four of them, but they just slot over and then you can hang like your tea towel or your apron or whatever off there, which is really, really handy because it saves us kind of having it all on the oven. We can just put like, for example, these can just kind of hang off there. The kitchen is now done and I have put the shelving thing up, I built the little crates that go on it, put all the jars and stuff together so that everything is on there, it literally just needs to be organised. Um, and we've now freed up a little hole which is where the hoover's going to live because at the moment it's kind of just in the middle of the floor because we have a Henry and it's quite big. But I thought I would quickly come upstairs and just put the rug out and weigh down the corners throwing scissors around because obviously when you get a new rug it's been rolled for so long that the corners just like curl up. So. I'm gonna try and weigh it down with like makeup bags and like random things around my room, but I thought I would give you a little kind of time lapse of me doing that. I actually went for this one, which is the Lon Holt. Um, it's really nice like kind of natural woven with the brown on it. And then the little bench that I bought to go at the end of my bed is basically the perfect colorway. Um, and that's what they had in the show home. So that's what I ended up going for. I'm just a little bit worried because 
the whole point was that we put it um, like under the bed and I've realised that the desk might be in the way. Okay, so the idea is, this is the kind of length of the rug. So the idea is that we push it a little bit under the bed and kind of run it out flat so it goes to like over there. But we didn't think about the fact that this is a little bit close to the end of the bed. So I don't know if I'm going to have to like really push it under and then it's a bit of a like situation. That is actually going to be leaving, that's not going to be staying there. But yeah, I just don't know if it's going to all be a little bit too close together. Um, so that could be a bit of an issue or I might just have to like turn my desk around into the corner a bit more or something but yeah we're gonna give it a go we're gonna roll it out and see what I think and then if it doesn't work up here we're gonna try and put it in the living room and see what it looks like in there because it just fits the whole house but yeah a bit stressed out because I don't know if it's gonna fit or if it's gonna look right or anything so yeah I'm gonna test it and see what happens wish me luck <laughs> Okay, Sam's on FaceTime, but I'm gonna get him to come up and have a look because he's really, really good at interiors. Like, when I say, I this room's probably, I wanna say like 70, 30, maybe 65-ish, um, him. Because to be honest, he's just so good at putting things together and making things look nice that he is really good at this kind of thing. And he's the one who actually told me that I should get a rug under my bed, so I listened. Um, but we'll see what he thinks because I don't think either of us thought about the desk. <laughs> How much better does this look? All I've done is add a rug, this little bench, and the grey cushions, which kind of look white on the camera. But that's the new bed setup, and I actually think it looks really, really cute. I'm kind of loving it. Like, just look at that. Obviously ignoring this because this is a giant mess, but that looks really cute. And then I just need to paint this little thing um, and put the little ring light away, which is what I'm going to do right now. But it looks really cute. And I've just also put this over this chair, which really annoyingly... This chair doesn't quite fit under the desk. The desk is a bit of a mess, just ignore that. But yeah, that was kind of my idea, so that would fit under, but it doesn't, and I don't quite know what to do with that, but yeah. <laughs> so one of the other things we picked up today was some contact paper from B&Q, which is, I don't know if you can see, but it's like marble contact paper. And I think it cost, what was it like three pounds something a thing? It might have been a bit, but it might have been six pounds. It must have been about four pounds. Um, I don't know what the receipt is, but yeah, it wasn't too expensive. So we basically got that because obviously we're in a rented house. We can't just like retile a kitchen. Also, we don't have the money to retile a kitchen. So we thought this is quite a nice, cheap alternative way to do it. I'll put a cut away now so you can see what the tiles currently look like, but they're a bit gross. We don't really like them. They're really yellow. The whole kitchen just looks really yellow because of it. And the rest of our house is just so nice and bright and airy that we just don't want that. So yeah, we're going to stick that up in a little bit, I think. 